so tired of burning bodies. Did the end of the world just turn us into serial killers? What's up, Meatballs? Mr. Meat Hook here, coming to you with another late edition, because it's Thursday, but it's Wild Eye Wednesday. Today, we're going to be talking about Impact Event from 2018, starring Barry J. Minoff, Tasha Takosa, and Jed Rowan, with cameos, and that, that's important. I'll get to that, though, with cameos from Hollywood legends like Michael Berryman, uh, Vernon Wells, Richard Grieco, I mean, he's not a legend, but, you know, he's Richard Grieco. And Academy Award winner Margaret O'Brien. What? So, first thing I want to say is the cover is a gross misrepresentation of the film. Because Michael Berryman is in it for less than five minutes. I get it, you put the names up there, fans of those people buy it. I'm not super mad. Um, Richard Grieco, also in it for just a few minutes. Vernon Wells, just a few minutes. Margaret O'Brien, just a few minutes. Uh, I do have to say, Margaret O'Brien's acting for an Academy Award winner is horrendous. Super wooden. You can tell she was just literally phoning it in. Probably did everything in one take. Definitely within a couple of hours. I'm assuming she needed to pay rent. I don't know. I don't judge the filmmakers for putting her in there, but the performance that she gave was really, really bad. One of the main actors, Barry J. Minoff, was pretty bad. But Impact Event is about just that. It's about an impact event. A meteor hits the Earth. It's an extinction-level event. Obviously, some people survive because mankind is stubborn like that. We won't just die. It's an hour and 42 minutes. It is unrated. Um, I would say if it's going to be rated, it would probably be PG-13. Maybe an R, but it would be a pretty soft R. There's no nudity. There's not a lot of blood. Although there is implied cannibalism and stuff like that. So yeah, it would probably be an R. I dug the story. I thought it was a little too talky at times. I think they could have trimmed... 15, 20 minutes off the runtime, made it a tighter script. And because some scenes were like unnecessarily long, it was just like long shots of people walking. I thought those could have been cut down. Like I said, 15, 20 minutes, just make it a tighter script or, you know, less B roll of people walking, whatever. Definitely would have been uh, a tighter film and I would have enjoyed it just a tad more. Uh, but during this impact event, a group of people take refuge in a haunted house attraction, which is, for some reason, airtight. It's got its own power source, lots and lots of food and weapons. I'm not questioning the logic. It's a movie. Whatever. I enjoyed it. I, I mean, it, as, as I said, it was too long. A couple of the acting performances were pretty bad. Margaret O'Brien's was awful. This movie is currently rated a 2.8 at IMDb. That's a 2.8 out of 10. And I have to say that I think that that grade is way too low. I would give this a 6. It's not perfect. Um, I give them plus for actually using squibs and blanks. Where most low-budget movies these days, they carry around either a toy gun or just a prop gun. And they add sound effects and, you know, muzzle flash later in After Effects or whatever uh, programs they're using. They used blanks and squibs, so I'll give them credit for that. Overall, um, I suggest pick it up or check it out. It's streaming on Amazon Prime, so if you have Prime, check it out. It's not awful. Um... I will say, if you're epileptic, there is a lot of flashing lights in this movie. So many that at the beginning of the movie, they actually give a warning on photosensitivity. 
And a lot of, I was like, that's strange. I've never seen that in a movie before. There's a lot of flashing lights in this. So it makes perfect sense. But yeah, um, check it out. I really did dig it. I think you guys should check it out. Anyways, guys, next week, um, I have not yet decided what I'll be doing. But uh, I may do a Wild Eye that I already have. I may have one of them that they sent me. I haven't decided yet. I... We'll, I'll pick something and watch it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I want you to be cool, be spoopy, and support independent horror. Deuces. <laughs>